Hi, Andy Herringshaw with Tractor Innovations. Today I'm in Estacada, Oregon to show you the installation of a Power Beyond kit on this Kubota L3700. This kit is absolutely the most affordable and easiest way to get a set of Power Beyond remotes on your tractor. This is gonna set a quick coupler right up next to the rear axle that you can plug into to power a backhoe like we're doing for this kit or a log splitter, other implement on the rear of your tractor. This kit does provide flow. So it is constant flow for implements that need that, such as a backhoe. It will not control a hydraulic cylinder. If you're looking to control a hydraulic cylinder, you'll want a set of rear remotes, different than a Power Beyond kit. If you check out some of my other videos, I sell remote hydraulic kits that are powered off of the loader circuit and totally do it yourself, easy to install kits. Today, we are gonna have to turn a couple wrenches to get into the hydraulic circuit, but really easy, really foolproof set that you're not touching anything on the tractor before the safety valves. Everything we're gonna be touching is after the safety valves. You cannot hurt your tractor if you follow these steps. Let me show you all the steps to get this Power Beyond kit onto your tractor and uh, we'll get this backhoe up and running. The first step to installation is identifying the Power Beyond hose on your tractor. It's often marked in green. So I see it right here going back into the transmission on the tractor so I can trace this hose up to my loader valve and I see it coming in right here. Okay, so when I look at my loader valve, this is my Power Beyond hose. I'm gonna tap this kit in right there. The kit comes with a female and then when we are ready to connect the return hose from the back of the tractor back into this, we're gonna take that green hose and move it to the back to plug into the quick coupler. All right, we're gonna be tapping into this Power Beyond circuit up on the loader valve, and we are gonna to have to disconnect this Power Beyond hose to change its orientation later. So let's go ahead and get the fluid out of that hose. I'm gonna loosen it here at the bottom, let the fluid out of it, then I'll disconnect it at the top and we'll get things in position. To loosen this hose down here, I need two 7 8 inch wrenches, one on the swivel fitting, one to hold the fitting going into the tractor. You can see just a little bit of fluid come out of the tractor, but it doesn't appear to keep running, so it's not gonna drain your tractor dry. Now I'm gonna loosen the fitting at the top and let the fluid drain out of that hose. For the top, you'll need a 7 8 wrench and 11 16 You can see the fluid running out of that hose now that we're letting a little air in the top. And I'm just gonna let that drain before I move it out of the way. This Power Beyond hose used to connect your loader valve to put that power back into your transmission, which then it goes down to the power of the three-point hitch and some other things. This is now going to connect to the back of the tractor to get that fluid back from the backhoe and put it right into the transmission again. So I'm gonna leave that kind of inclined here so it can drain and we'll continue with the installation. You're looking at the top of the loader valve with the Power Beyond hose removed. I've got the new hose in my hand. Coupler is gonna thread under the tractor and I've got the female JIC connector right here. So I'm gonna plug this in with the hose just here in a convenient spot and then I'll run the hose to its final area. Ooh, look at this. This fitting is clocked just a little too tight. With this connector on here, I can't quite get it where it needs to be, so I'm gonna have to loosen this contra nut here, give myself just a little more room. Seven eighths inch here. So I need to turn just a little left so that I can Change the angle just a little bit on that power beyond and tighten it back. That's an O-ring boss fitting going into your loader valve. So you can loosen it and just be gentle with it because there is an O-ring in there. JIC coupler is on there and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up. All right, that JIC fitting is tight. Now I'm gonna take this hose and run it under the tractor. With the Power Beyond hose connected up here on top of the loader valve, I'm now gonna find a safe routing for the Power Beyond supply hose to the back of the tractor. So 
I'm going to keep it away from the wheels, away from anything hot or moving. We've got the oil filter, the hydraulic oil filter right here. So I'm going to try to get it up and over that so that we're not stuck down below it. All right, I've got a good routing. I'm going to be able to anchor it to existing pipes and existing hardware underneath there. And I've got just enough length to reach right to the axle area where we're going to put this quick coupler into a bracket. I have my Power Beyond coupler. This is what's going to provide the pressure to the backhoe. It's run here to the back of the tractor. Now I just need to find a mounting spot for the bracket that this comes with. It's got a backing plate and plenty of holes. You can mount this just with one of these holes or use the backing plate. You can go over the roller protection if you want that coupler really out and accessible. But I'm looking at the back of this 3700. It's got this nice diagonal bar here. So I think I'm going to put the bracket right up here, backer plate underneath, and that's going to set my coupler right out here away from moving three point parts, but accessible for the backhoe. I have my hardware kit with all the bolts I need and a couple half inch wrenches. I can imagine right where that coupler is going to sit by taking the U bolt that's going to hold it. It's going to sit right about there. I need a clear path in front of it. So I'm going to slide it up just a little further, get away from that seat belt. Perfect. I've got a clear path for that hose to run here. All right, with my hose pulled back into place, I can drop my U-bolt over the quick coupler here, and then I just go on with the nuts and lock washers underneath, tighten it up with a half inch wrench. Okay, before declaring this part done, it's good to take your quick coupler on a hose and shove it in there, make sure that that hose flexes enough to be able to connect and disconnect. You just shove in to connect, pull to disconnect. All right, the supply side of the Power Beyond is done, totally connected. Now I've got the hose. The male part is gonna to connect to the return of the backhoe, putting fluid back to the tractor. And I've got the correct fitting, this JIC fitting, to connect to the hose that I disconnected from the front. The power hose to the coupler here is complete. Now we're gonna complete the return hose. I've got this return hose plugged into the coupler and on the end is this male JIC fitting and I've got right here the hose we took off from the Power Beyond return up front. The straight fitting is gonna go right on to this fitting. This can turn, so go ahead and tighten it while it's right here and convenient. You need two seven eighths here. And these JIC fittings tighten up internally. You don't have to put a whole bunch of arm strength in there, just kind of wrist strength. And no sealant or anything else, they should seal up internally. Okay, so now I've got the former Power Beyond return hose connected to this return hose. We're gonna find a neat routing right back up to that connection that we disconnected earlier. Okay, I'm bringing this return hose forward. There's a big pressure pipe. I'm gonna run it over that, and I'm gonna get it up and over this filter as well. So we're gonna be plugging this hose right back on, and then I'll zip tie this in onto that big pressure pipe, just so everything stays safe. Okay, I'm gonna take it kind of as high as it'll go, and tighten it on with a 7 8 wrench. A few zip ties in there to hold that hose away from any danger. And that's really it. Well, there you have it. The easiest and most affordable way to get a set of Power Beyond outlets on your tractor. This is gonna provide pressure in this female quick coupler on the tractor. Plugged into that is the male. So when you're running the tractor without a backhoe, log splitter, other implement on there, it's gonna be plugged in. When you want to hook up your backhoe, unplug it here, 
plug in the input to the backhoe to this pressure line, return from the backhoe into the mail here, and you are in business. So let's hook up this backhoe and see what it can do. Before we get to the demo, take a second, like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when I got new videos and it helps other people find these and get more out of their tractor. All right, we got the backhoe lower three-point hooked up. We're gonna hook up the top link, but we're gonna need to power up the backhoe to do that. We're gonna have to move the arm a little bit. So now it's time to hook up the connections. Tractor is off. Take a second and make sure all the pressure is out of the tractor. So set the three-point down. All right, it's not moving. Move your loader lever to all four possessions. We just wanna make sure all the pressure is out of everything in the tractor. Now to hook up the backhoe, disconnect your coupler there, plug it into your female on the backhoe, male from the backhoe right into the tractor supply. And if you don't have those fittings on your backhoe, let me know, I can include those in your kit. We can also do industrial A, industrial B, or other sizes of fittings uh, to match what your tractor or implement has. All right, we've got hydraulic power coming from the tractor. Thanks for watching.